It's your boy GP the Beast. <coughs> I'm back with a slapper, man. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, man, it really took me a while, man, to uh, do this one right here, right? This one right here touched my heart. You know what I'm talking about? You know, they had me in the pen. I was in Atlanta. And, uh, yeah, this about this young cat. Bruh. He was really getting abused up in there, man. It was bad. And I used to see it. And it used to eat me up, man. Because we got some cold type of characters in prison, man. We got some real predators. And they preyed on you. It's a little different nowadays. But back then, it was really bad. It was really bad. And I'm going to tell you about it. I'm gonna tell you about this situation. You know, hopefully nobody, nobody ever in life has to go through this. Because this here is extreme torture. It's the saddest shit in the world. I mean, what do you do? What do you do when you trap? I mean, trap, man. You trap in this world, man, this world. It got this fence around it, man. It got this wall around it. And then you trap inside of the trap. Because at night, you locked into your building. And then you locked in your cell. And imagine when your cellmate is raping you. I mean raping you, man. Over and over and over again. And you ain't got nowhere to turn to. And nobody to talk to. You just trapped. Trapped in prison. Trapped in this hell. Your mama can't help you. Your daddy can't help you. And ain't no nigga about to get in your business because it ain't they business. Now they homies, if you got homies, they should have got on this nigga. But I don't know. Maybe this nigga didn't have no homies. Or maybe them niggas didn't give a damn. Or maybe they had a banneting. All I know is little bruh, he had it bad. But, in the end, it was the booty bandit. It was the predator. He got taken care of. I'm going to tell you about this story, man, so get ready. Yeah. Roll your blunt. Get your drink out. Get your popcorn. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're doing. Your sandwich. Kick back. <laughs> yeah, this one about to go crazy. But I'm going to warn you, it's deep. It gets really deep. Shout it out. GP the Beast, man. Shout it out. Let's do it. <laughs> See, man, when you stuck in prison, you really stuck. You really in a whole different world. You know, it's like they didn't kidnap you from your regular life, you know, from your neighborhood, from the household that you grew up with, from the bed that you slept in, from the bedroom that you slept in, you know, everything that you knew, they took it away. And they put you in a foreign world. And in this world, you got all kind of different mentalities. And one of them is a predator. One of them is a person. He might not even have life. You know what I'm saying? I didn't witness dudes that was in there that only had five years. And they kissing on other men right in front of you like that state woman. It was the first time ever that I witnessed men really kissing other men. Men really marrying other men. Men really acting like that was their wives. Anyway, man. I remember this cat, man, because 
I lived across the hallway from him. And I would see this dude. He was a young dude. And it was sad. He was black. He was a young dude, man. He only had to be about... Man, he couldn't have been... I mean, I was young. When I went to prison, I was only 23. I felt like, you know, this dude had to be younger than me, but he could have been my age or older. But the bottom line is he was soft. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't He wasn't a thug. He was square. But what made me know that he was going through something, though, he was always sad. You know what I'm talking about? You know, when he came out the room, he'd be sad and he'd be sitting by himself. And I, I could tell, I could see the demeanor of the other dude. I could see the demeanor of his body language, how it had changed. He was afraid, man. Bro was living in fear, man. He was living in fear. And it was killing him. And I can imagine what he was going through. Even though I can't imagine. He had to be feeling like what happened, you know, like wh why did it happen? How did he get in that position? Why did they put him in that cell? They put him in a cell with a predator. And I mean, this dude took advantage of this dude. I don't know what he might have told that dude, but I mean, he must have he must have put the fear of God in him. I mean, but what can you do? I mean, you could tell him, you could tell a person he better not say shit, or you're gonna kill him. He trapped. He trapped in that cell. He can't go nowhere. He don't know who to turn to. He can't tell another man that another man is fucking him in his ass. He can't call home and tell his mama that he's getting fucked in the ass. He can't call home and tell his brother that he's getting fucked in the ass. And even if he do, what they going to do? They can't stop it. They not living in this world. They not here. Mama can't protect you. Daddy can't protect you. Big bro can't protect you. Nobody can protect you but you. Yeah, you know, in prison, we got homies. You know what I'm saying? We got brodies. You know what I'm saying? We got gangs. You know what I mean? And they be acting like they really love a motherfucker. But the bottom line is this. I don't want another motherfucker holding a shank acting like he gonna protect me. Give me my motherfucking own shank. I'm gonna protect me. I'm gonna stab a motherfucker trying to hurt me. You know what I'm talking about? I know what I'm gonna do. Just like when I had the issue on the street and they come get me, you know what I'm saying, after the murder. After I beat that, you know what I'm talking about? They come get me. I'm like, you strapped? He like, yeah, I'm strapped. I'm like, well, let me get that. He like, nah, I got you. Nah, nigga, you ain't got me. Let me get that. I got me. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put my life in somebody else's hands. So this dude was trapped, man. And it was written all over his face. It was the saddest shit ever, man. And it was killing me, man, because I knew this dude was raping this dude. This dude, man, the young kid was he was he was frail. You know what I mean? He wasn't he was tall though, kind of tall. He was taller than me. But and but he wasn't buff. The other dude that he was living with was on swall. And he was an older dude. And you might say, well, how come he didn't move out the cell? I mean, he probably couldn't move out the cell. The older dude probably told him, I'll kill you. I'll kill you if you try to get away from me. I'll kill you. Because he will. He'll kill him. He'll kill him over that booty. Because cause to him, it's like pussy. It's like pussy. He really looking at that man like that man is a girl. He looking at that man skinny in his shape. And he imagining him being his girl. Because he don't care about none of that. All he care about is the feel. And if it feel good, he going to kill for it. And since it was fresh meat and nobody had it, nobody had dibs on it, he just got lucky. And the boy rode up in his cell because the police put him in there. But they knew what they was doing. They knew he was a predator. 
You know what I'm talking about? Everybody could see the predators. I had a motherfucker try to prey on me. Yeah. When I first got in the system, in the feds, I was in uh, Leavenworth. I ain't even know this shit. You know, this nigga, he was on Swole. I think he was from Baltimore or something. On Swole. Big black nigga, but he was cool. But I didn't know the nigga was running game, bruh. The nigga was cool. He was hella cool with me. And then one day I was playing chess, and he brought me something to eat. And when he brought me something to eat, he left. And uh, the dude I was playing chess with, he said, he said, bro, be cooking for you? I like, yeah, he be hooking up little shit sometime. He like, you know him? I mean, yeah, we kind of cool. He like, but he ain't from Cali, though, huh? Nah, ain't nigga ain't from Cali. He like, be careful of that nigga, GP. I don't like how he moving. You got to watch these niggas, bro. These niggas that want to cook for you and do shit for you, nigga. They got motors behind this shit. Be careful, bro. I, ain't, I got a bad vibe with this nigga. So once he said that, it made me start thinking about shit. Because this nigga start popping up to my cell. And he was like, yeah, I'm about to do laundry, man. Want me to do your laundry? I'm like, nah, I'm good. He like, nah, I got it, bro. It's good. You busy, good man. Give me, that, give me your laundry. I got you. Okay, I didn't think nothing of it, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking nothing of it. The laundry and the meals and shit. Then the nigga asked me to move in the cell with him. Talking about his bunk, he was a weirdo and shit. He was getting into it. Now, you know, that's regular nigga shit. But it's also irregular nigga shit when you got fucked up motors behind it. Now, I start peeping shit. So I start giving that nigga distance. But it even got to the point where I start thinking about killing him. You know what I'm talking about? Even though he had never did no type of sexual advance towards me. But I start keeping a pin on me. In case this shit got out of pocket, I was going to stab this nigga in his neck. This was my first really entry into the prison. You know what I'm saying? I had been to Leavenworth, I mean Lompoc, then I got sent to Leavenworth. So it really wasn't my first entry because I was putting in work in Lompoc. But this was my first entry into the prison outside of California. And, uh, yeah, man, this nigga was starting to be on some predator shit. You know what I mean? I go to the yard, this nigga pop up on the yard. I'm like, bro, how you get out your job? The nigga was finding the ways to get out his job. And when it was about to get real deep, and I was figuring I'm going to have to take this nigga out, we end up having a D.C. ride, D.C. in California. And I end up smashing. And uh, that problem ended up disappearing because they sent me to another prison. But I could have been wrong, but I don't think I was wrong. I think I was going to have to kill this fool. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But it never got to that. But I could see the scenario. I could see how it was playing out when I got to the new prison, which was Atlanta USP. And I seen a motherfucker. And I seen him going through these transformations. This nigga was sad, bruh. He didn't hardly talk. He didn't have no friends, bruh. He was trapped. And I could tell little shit. Like when the big dude come out and talk to him, he'd be like, man, how long you going to be out here, man? Get back in the cell. And this nigga would sadly get up and go to the cell. Anyway, one day, I heard some screaming and shit. You know, it wasn't like repeatedly, but it just came out of nowhere. And it got my attention. And I came to my door. And I seen this fool try to run out the door, bruh. And he ain't had no clothes on, bruh. And that dude grabbed him from behind and put him in a chokehold, bruh. And the nigga was trying to scream and he put his hand around his mouth and everything. He just took control of the dude. And I seen him, he dragged him back into the cell, bruh. It 
was the craziest shit. I was like, what the fuck, bro? This dude up in there raping this dude, man. Over and over and over and over again. Imagine, bro, somebody taking your manhood and treating you like a female, bro. All of a sudden, you done went from a man to a female role. And it's an everyday thing. He got you doing female stuff. It's your job to clean up the room. It's your job to cook his meals. It's your job to serve him whatever he want. <clears throat> if he want to get blow, he want a blow job, it's your job to blow him. If he wants some booty, it's your job to spread him. All of a sudden, you done became a female. When you first came to jail, you was a man. Now, all of a sudden, you a female. You in the female role. Imagine what's going through his mind every day, bruh. It's unimaginable. How could you even think like that? All I would say is, he should have killed him immediately. Even if he did get violated, he should have killed him immediately. He got to go to sleep. He got to go to sleep. Is you that afraid that you're not going to kill a motherfucker when he go to sleep? After he didn't violated you? After he didn't destroyed you? He didn't change your whole life. You will never be the same. Yeah. It had to be going through his mind. Over and over and over again. In prison, if he ain't your friend, he your enemy. See a predator, he the worst kind. He the lowest of the low. When you first come in the system, he gonna offer you friendship and then protection. And then he gonna turn the screws on you because now you owe him. For every candy bar he gave you, for every time he brought you a pair of socks, for every time he walked you to jail and showed you the ropes, you in debt. And guess what? He don't want no money. He wants some booty. He wants you, and he wants you every day, every night, all the time, every minute of the day. You're going to be trapped. Imagine a dude with a huge wide chest, big ass arms. He lifting 400 on the yard. He work out every day, and this dude trap you in a cell and tell you you owe him money. You now owe him money for lacing you about the prison, for that candy bar he gave you for, giving you, for giving you extra food off his tray. He probably gave you the whole tray. Don't let it be chicken or something like that. You really in debt. But imagine this dude telling you that you owe him now. And if you ain't got the money, which you ain't got, because you just got there. And if you ain't got the money, then he wants some service. And the service is your booty. Or he wants his dick sucked. And on top of him being on swole, he gonna pull out a big ass motherfucking knife and tell you he is not playing with you. And what if you one of them niggas that can be kind of whore? You know what I mean? It's niggas that be like, nigga, hold on, nigga. And a nigga snatch you by your motherfucking neck, nigga. Nigga kick you in your motherfucking nuts, nigga, and put that knife up to your motherfucking throat and say, nigga, do you think I'm playing? Nigga pumping the motherfucking fear of God in you, nigga. And you ain't got no knife. You don't even know where to get one. You just got there. Your homies ain't looking out for you. Why? I don't know. Maybe they feel you weak. Maybe they don't want to interact, interact with you because you're a weak leak. Maybe you ain't really got no homies because I didn't have none. I ain't never did time with a nigga from Sacramento. It's always just been me in the feds, not the state, in the feds. It's always just been me. So maybe he didn't have no homies. I don't know. All I know is this nigga was getting brutalized. This nigga was being tortured. This nigga was being forced in a world he had never entered before. And it was hell. 
It had to be hell. Enough was enough. Y'all got to wait till part two to find out, though. But I'm going to tell you like this here. The victim decided he was not going to be a victim anymore. What's up, man? It's your boy, GP the Beast, man. I got my new book, you know what I'm talking about? The Mozzie book, man. From bodies to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Go check out the book, boy. Go crazy. Go check me out. I'm on Amazon.com. You boy, your boy on Kindle. Your boy in paperback. You know, you might want to mess with it on paperback like I do. You know what I'm saying? Or you might want to hear it on audio. You know I got it on audio, but I really recommend... That if you got somebody in the pen, send them the book, man. Send them the new Mozzie book so they can get laced, man. You know what I'm talking about? Shout it out. Support your boy. Support the channel. We trying to eat out here the right way. Yeah, your boy GP the Beast, man. Shout it out, gang. Fill his pocket up with some chain. I just want to talk to him. Tried to smut my name But niggas know I'm body And what fuck me up is the niggas that spoke about it Niggas, who spoke niggas about that even defend me They don't know I know about it they don't know. What really fucked me up, the hater side was the most crowded I, I don't claim clicker, but I do be around it around And it. when I leave the house I don't never leave without it. Never. I, I don't never sleep without it. Shit, I can't even eat without it. I got it when I'm getting my dick sucked. Can't even freak without it. First thing waking up, I don't brush my teeth without it. I don't when I'm in the city, I don't slide through the streets without it. I don't Niggas might catch me slipping if I be without it. I so to leave home without it, I would never think about it. Never. Mozzie and E. Mozzie, my nap. Don't even think about it. Never. Born with this game. Shit, I would never eat without it. Never. They gave me 17. I couldn't believe I got it. Thought I was through with money, but I refused to believe I got it. Big bitch ass nigga snitch. Forced me to take a plea about it. Talk shit behind my back. No time to think about it. Ain't, ain't no running from the phone, nigga. I, I gotta go see about it. And it gotta be a body before we can talk peace about it. Talk, talk, talk shit on the net. Shit, we in the streets about it. We in the streets. Oh, you know about a body, nigga? Don't even speak about it. Hey, hey, nigga, ain't built to actually be a body. Okay. And if it ain't no paperwork, nigga, then why you speak about it? Talking. Where you from? The Heights of Old Park. They always ask about it. I'm a product of both, nigga, and I'm a smash about it. Nigga, I'm a I always smash. wanted this money. I still dream about it. So cracked to the city by any means about it. By any means. I could have been a tycoon, nigga. I thought about it. Thought about but it. a nigga still a goon, nigga. Ain't no doubt about Ain't it. No doubt the about bitch it. wanted to freak. Shit, but no doubt about Ain't it. No doubt Told about the bitch it. I'm cool. She got dismissed and got out it. She pouted. I thought about it. Thought I made about a call it. about it. What, what she thought? Since I've been gone, I wasn't about it. I, I got the it. game from the dope fiend. Trap house had them crowded. Had crowd. Nigga, they know the things. They taught me how to reroute it. How to, re how, how to repackage it up. Shit, I had to recount it. I'm a, I'm a legend in the city. Missed shot and I'ma rebound it. Respected on the block. Better ask the streets about That's it. Streets, been locked nigga. up in the pier. Shit, I hate to think about it. I've been neglected a lot, shit, but I'm cool about it. Nigga, nigga cool. shot at me and miss, and that nigga made the news about it. Re recognizing my mistake, nigga, I ain't no fool about it. I got motion in these streets, and I can't move without it. Never. Mama gave me some game. I wasn't too keen about it. I rejected it a lot, but I was unforeseen now, about it. No, no warning shots in the pen, shit, you better read about it. Get, catch your body in the pen and let they folks read about it. The bitch said she loved me, but her movements made me doubt it made She wasn't in the visiting room and that motherfucker was crowded, right, was crowded. Niggas say I went bad, shit, nigga, I heard about it heard But no shit. paperwork exists on the case with my words Niggas about it Niggas say I robbed my nigga mama, how you think I feel about nigga, it? That nigga think? mama like my mama, I'm ready to kill about it If our city come together, nigga, we should kill about it Everybody buy up. each other music, let's get a meal about it <laughs> Lil' GP and GP3, they with it and they bout it niggas Them bout little it. niggas clone me, ain't no doubt about it. Do, doing shit that I do with the same route about same it. Route it's about like doing business with myself. All we do is count it. Never understood why they hate. I would just think about it. Think I'm about trying it. to figure this shit out so I could teach about it. Teach I about had things on every car. The streets would speak about it. Speak Went about to the feds. Extra five for packing heat about it. Got stripped for the crown. Used to be the king but got out it. Got but my nep took it over so I'm really proud about Man, it. Proud of you Niggas now. made decisions and split the hood about it. 
They can't love you like I do, they didn't grow up around it no. Got my first kick at 15, I'm really about it really My brother got it. smacked by the rollers, I had to read about I it Being black can fuck you up, who gon' teach about it? If the culture is it. fucked up, who the one who gon' preach about who it? Gonna who gon' talk it. about it? Who gon' walk the walk about it? My closest nigga let me down, but I don't now talk about it like My that. other nigga got at my bitch, I never spoke about it In return, I fucked this bitch and made a joke about it we, we settled the shit, we smoked and had a drink about it We dapped, saluted, and decided not to speak about it we cool. These niggas keep testing me and I always beast about it So I had a word with God and ask him what he think about it What you think, God?